to followers of uh, avant garde cinema, Sudhir Mishra is a name to reckon. The script writer of films like Jani Vidu Yaro, Mohan Joshi Hauser, went on to make films in his own right as a director. And he's given us some wonderful works. For example, Ye Wo Manzul Ko Nahi, Is Raat Ko Subha Nahi, Dhar Vi, Kalkita Mein, I haven't seen Mumbai Cutting and Calcutta Mail, but all other movies are ones of a very top variety. So when you watch Sudhir Mishra, or when you know Sudhir Mishra is making a movie, you know he's making something sensible. Avant God in the sense that he's not making a commercial for body, that's for sure. He won't hurt your intelligence, he won't insult. The Sudhir, obviously, cinema is a political statement, a statement that he's making consciously about various things. Could be his Rat Ki Subha Ki Ni, or Hazari, Hazari Kwashi. You know where his uh, political ideology is, where he comes from. So when Afma makes it silently and goes away silently from the cinema or the theatres. It is singularly the loss of cinists who have not seen this movie. For a long time, people ask what ails in this cinema. I think today the question is rephrased to be asking what ails the audience that does not encourage movie in this cinema. For example, a film like Afwa, you don't even know it's in the theatres before it. You before you can say Afma, it's not. The problem today is Afma, in reality, is greater than Afma the film. The problem with films like Afma is they are so well made. They are unfortunately designed to seemingly a certain audience. It's a gripping film. It's got a good story. It's well executed. It mirrors society. It's quite commercial in that sense of the term. It's not a money call film. Yet, if the audience is not watching the movie, probably because it doesn't have a star cast, it doesn't have Shah Rukh Khan, or it doesn't have PS2 Aishwari Adai Mucha, the day we begin to look at cinema outside of star value, the day we begin to look at cinema from a director's point of view as the star of the ship, Indian cinema will improve. Till the cows come home, we can talk about our cinema not being of global standards. We contribute to it because we don't encourage good cinema. All of us are interested in going and saying, Patan, how, much are, how many of us wanted to buy a ticket for me? All of us wanted to know what is about PS2. How many of us wanted to even know about Afwa? There lies the tragedy. But let's come to Afwa the movie. Vicky Singh, a local politician, is contesting an election with a no-holds bar. He pulls all the triggers, creates communal disarm with the assistance of his uh, two loonies, uh, Chandan, played by Shari Ashmi and Rocky, by Rocky Raina. And uh, there's violence before the election. There's polarization. And then there is the love jihad. And his fiancée, Nibi, Bhumi Pitnika, when she realizes that her fiance, Vicky Singh, played by Sunil Pias, is the cause for all this, she's on the run. She just gets out of the house. And as she's on the run, as the daughter of a big political leader and a local lawyer, 
She has a repute and people are scared of her and she's also willing to leave the gun if necessary. She is the bold girl. And uh, how does Sudhir Mishra establish that she's a bold girl? She uses the F word every two minutes. And as this goes on, there's another story happening. We have Rahab Ahmad, a American writer who's going to the fort in Rajasthan, where a book by his wife is to be released at the lit fest. They meet accidentally on the run and he saves her. But interestingly, the Afwa goes on that uh, a Muslim guy, Rahul, is running with Nidhi, the Hindu. But there's nothing romantic, they are not eloping. But the Afwa goes on, the social media catches it up, there is violence, there is mayhem, there is rioting, all on the one side. The interesting Ribubi herself says, one fool spreads gyan and the rumor is not to spread. From here, what happens? Are they caught? Are they killed? What happens to Bob Fury? What is the, what's the fulcrum of this polarized hate in our system? Is it a divide between two communities? Are two communities unwilling to live with one another? Or are they stage managed for myopic needs? Constitute the making of this film? Strongly recommended for people. There are clean performances from Sumit Vyas as Vicky Singh, Rocky Raina and Sharif Kashmi as the side. And uh, there is a quintessential corrupt police officer in Sandeep Tomar, played by Sumit Kaur, and a very strong performance from Rhea Rathor as the inspector whose gender exploited by her superior in the police. Watch the movie. I strongly recommend viewers of good cinema to see how they can reach out and watch Sudhir Mishra's Afa. Also watch the songs in the movie. Lend your ears. The lyrics are poignant. They tell a story by themselves. Afwa is a sad story of the days we live in. It's a dramatic, if cinematic, if artistic prediction or a depiction of where we are, more dangerously where we may be born. Even the horse, its political content, as a film Sudhir Mishra, who seems to have lost his way in Koya Koya Chan, is back, he's doing a great job, amazing time. You know when movie with Baker is in a movie, she's doing something sensible. You know it's a film that's on an axis different from the typical commercial movies. You know, movie does not disappoint, she's worth watching. What does one say about the husband? It's such a consuming actor. In the role of Rahim Ahmad, probably he underplays the role to a nice scene. He's there without being larger than life. He's a part of the Afwa. He's a class performance. He's a class act. Both Bhumi and Nawaz bring on board a tremendous value add to the film. They are in complete sync with Sudhir Mishra. And not to forget, it's a sh not a very long movie. It's worth investing time and after all. To all those who spread the room, rumors, I can only ask Isra, Isuba, mm -hmm. acknowledgements again to Dattu and Rabia. I'd like you all to watch this movie and come back with your comments on the movie. Hopefully, all of you. Hopefully some same director, some, some same film distributor would 
put it on screen for somebody to watch, or serendipity would bless, and you can get to see it as well. But Half Long is a film.